Well, uh, the question says to prove that in any arithmetic series in which the first term is A and whose the constant difference is D, um, the sum of uh, the first n terms is Sn equal to open square bracket, uh, equal to n over two, open square brackets to A plus n minus one in the round bracket times D, close square bracket. All right. Um, in today's uh, video, I'm going to start with a history, uh, with a story. I think um, I, I would like you to watch carefully the story of a guy called Yula. Yula is uh, one of um, the, is, is a French mathematician from Switzerland, one of the brilliant servants in, in history of math. And um, the story says that when he was in school, one day, um, the old class mis misbehaved and the math teacher was angry and punished the class and said that they must do uh, the sum of the first 100 numbers, like doing like one plus two, plus three, plus four, etc. Um, plus 98, plus 99, plus 100. They had to do this sum, the old class. Now, after less than a minute, uh, Yula found the correct answer and the teacher was wowed by uh, that and then wanted to find out how uh, Yula find the correct answer so quickly. And uh, Yula explains his method, okay? He said, um, you know, if we do uh, the sum of uh, the first 100 numbers, let's say S and S100, okay? Uh, let's say uh, the first, the sum of the first 100 numbers is S100, and uh, we do like one plus, we do one uh, plus two, uh, plus three, plus etc. plus um, 98, plus 99, plus 100, okay? And then we can also do the same thing here. But this time we do the numbers in descending order, meaning from the biggest to the smallest, from 100 to one. So we can do 100 here plus 90, 99, 99 I mean, and then 98, and then etc. up to the uh, uh, plus three, plus two, plus one. Okay, this time in descending order. And um, this is what we get, okay. S100 plus S100 makes 2S100. And then notice, 1 plus 100 makes what? 101. 2 plus 99 makes 101. 3 plus 98, 101. And it will be the same all the way out. 98 plus 3 makes 101. 92 plus 2 makes 101. 100 plus 1 makes 101. So like, it's like the same number 101 repeats itself over and over and over and over. How many times? 100 times. So this can be written like this. Uh, calculation will be easier if we do 100 times 101, right? Because it's one, 101 plus 101, 100 times. So we can just do 100 times 101. So 2S, 2S 100 will be equal to that. Now to find the answer, we can just divide here by two and divide there by two also. And then um, that would be S100 equal to um, uh, 50 times 101. This calculation is much easier because we can just times 100 and then we divide by two. So this, if I times 100, I will get like one, one, and then zero, zero there. And I divide by two, uh, this will be um, five, zero, five, zero. Okay, that's the solution. But now I want to get back here. If Get back over here. Now look at this line. If you pay attention, this is the same thing to what uh, we once did uh, in the formula sheet that you have, um, because um, uh, with that says um, um, uh, S n is equal to uh, n over two uh, times um, the first term plus the last term. Let's let's prove it. Because this can be split this way. You can say because two, two and two are cancel out to so have like one S100 equal to 100 over two. I prefer to keep it like that. Um, times by uh, one plus 100. So you'll notice 
that this is the same thing as this formula Sn. N is the number of the term, the number of term here are 100, and then N over two, which is 100 over two, times by the first term, which is A, here the first term there, the first term is one in this sum, okay? And the last term is 100, A plus L. That's the same formula, okay? Now, we are going to then uh, solve the problem. So now I'm gonna split my, my board like this. Mm. We are required to find, uh, it's, it's question 2.1. We need to prove that uh, Sn equal to uh, N over two, open square brackets, 2A plus N minus one times T. We need to prove that sum. Now, I'm gonna do as you did, it. okay? Let me say um, uh, my sum is Sn. Okay, now I want you to pay, pay attention here. The first term is A, okay? And at this first term here, uh, the constant difference is, is, um, is zero, right? Because the, we start counting the constant difference by, from, the, from the following term. So I can write here uh, plus zero D, just because I know I'm doing that on papers just for illustration to make the calculation, the sum understandable, okay? I'm gonna say plus zero D, but I know it's just A. So this is like my term one, okay? Now, can continue, and I do plus, uh, the first term will be A plus D, right? So I'm, I wanna write here one D. The second term is that, so I'm gonna write here T two, right? Now, can continue, and I'm gonna say uh, for the third term then, this will be uh, A plus, D plus D, D plus this makes 2D. So that's going to be plus uh, 2D, right? Now let's move it like that. And then um, we will have like plus dot, dot, dot. Remember now we need to find uh, the last three terms. I know that the last term must be term uh, Tn. So the previous term must be what? Tn minus one, and the other previous term will be Tn minus two, right? So now I need to find Tn minus two, Tn minus one, and Tn. Now before I do, I want you to notice something. Here the, co the coefficient of D was zero. When, when the indices here was one, okay? Zero is like one less than one, right? Here, the constant difference, uh, the, the, the coefficient of D is one, and that the indices is two. And then here, this will be term three, T three. You can notice that the index is three and the coefficient of D is two. What you notice here? Yeah. You notice that uh, the coefficient of D is one less than the, than the indices of the term. So if I say, if I wanted to find T4, if I wanted, for instance, to find T4, uh, T4 would be uh, A plus three D. If I wanted to find T5, T5 would be A plus four D, All, uh, always like that, okay? Now, uh, if I need to find like now, Tn then, Tn minus two, the coefficient of D must be N minus three because uh, it must be less, it must be one unit less. So T, um, okay, maybe if I show this, yes. Uh, T4 must be like A plus 3D and then T5 must be equivalent to A plus 4D. So if I wanted to find like this term now, uh, Cn minus two, Cn minus two would be uh, A plus N minus three times D. Okay, because it's one unit less. Okay, so now let's continue um, to find um, uh, the following uh, T, Tn minus two, I'm gonna say that's gonna be A plus uh, N minus three times D and to find also um, um, Tn minus one will be A plus um, N minus two. 
times this. And to find the last term Tn, this will be um, uh, plus A plus uh, N minus one times D. You feel me? Okay, so this is like Tn minus two, and that's Tn minus one, and that's Tn itself, the last term. Now we're gonna do as you did over here. We're going to do also the same sum, this time in descending order. Okay, uh, we must do Sn will be what? A plus N minus one times D plus A two. Uh, oh, and then I'm gonna take this one then, uh, the following, it's gonna be A plus N minus two times D plus A plus N minus three times D. And it will be like that plus, um, um, Plus, um, and, and then this will be A, A plus 2D plus A plus N, no, plus 1D. Um, over here, plus 1D. And then plus A plus 0D. Okay? Now we did it in the same order. And now, uh, if we do the sum, As you know, did you will see that uh, uh, the number here, the sum over here, will always be the same. Okay, same as here. Uh, this will make what um, two S N because S N plus S N makes two S N, and if you do the sum, that makes two A plus uh, N. Okay, zero D plus N minus one D makes N minus one times D, and then this will be the same all the way out. It's gonna be the same answer all the way up. You can check. It's gonna be it's gonna be these over and over and over. So dot dot dot. I'm just gonna write two uh, a plus n minus one times d. So two s n will be that. Now, uh, because how many terms are here? If you count, we we were, we were doing term one, term two, term three, are all the way to term n, meaning they are n terms. So we have like. Uh, two S N equal to N times, okay, times I'm gonna use uh, times all this, I'm gonna use the square bracket, okay? Because uh, it time, it's uh, N, N times all this, we have, uh, we have different terms here, so I'm gonna use brackets. So I'm gonna say times uh, two A plus N minus one times D, okay? Um, and then, uh, and then what we can do, uh, we can just divide by two to get rid of this uh, coefficient here. We divide by two, we divide by two there also, and then uh, this would make uh, S n equal to uh, n over two, open square bracket, two a plus n minus one times d. Now uh, you can notice that uh, we just prove. Uh, the the sun. Thank you.